Well, hello once again, everyone. We are back for another Mortal Kombat tutorial. Uh, I am here once again with uh, resident Mortal Kombat expert Matt, also known as Jericho. Hi! Also with us is our good friend Milton. What's up? Forgive us if it's a little noisy out. It has been raining a good chunk of the morning. So if you hear any rattling, it's probably just rain hitting the air conditioner. And happy 4th yeah, of July, everyone. Yes, happy 4th of July, one and all. Either that or some crazy guy in the background is going, I want the air conditioner! Yep. But today, we're going to be discussing the new DLC character, Scarlet, the Lady in Red. So, Matt, if you would, take it away. Alright. Uh, so, the basic stuff to learn with Scarlet are her, or actually her really good pokes. This right here has actually been a very good poke. Um, this works really well um, as anti-air stuff, actually. That's one of the more important things to learn with her. She's got a great air game, having a horizontal, as you can tell here, and you can actually be able to keep it down there. And she's also got um, a downward angled one, which you can be able to cross up with. with uh, just like a Buki's Kunai from Street Fighter. Right. Now, um, Milton had actually mentioned earlier, and I actually do like this comparison. She's If anybody has ever played Super Street Fighter 4, they've used... They have two characters in there. Um, Ibuki, who's a female ninja, or Kunuichi, whatever you want to prefer. Or Guy. And actually, and Guy, who is a badass all around. I don't care what anybody says, people should just get sacked and die if they disagree with me. <laughs> Love that phrase, by the way. And Credit him for inventing it. Copyrighted. Yeah, so, with that, she has a lot of air games. She's got the most target combos that I've ever seen on a on a character in general. Yeah, was it like 14? Uh, yes, actually. Um, I took the time for the past several days to create hand right. Okay, I'm stressing that to everybody. Hand this is hand right. Written, folks. I don't know if you can read most of this, but... Yeah, hand right. This is all handwritten here. Yeah. Hand right a small guide on Scarlet here. Which does, which is exactly labeling all of the target combos, range, percentage, damage total, and even side notes. So for target combo three, the second hit turns overhead. Um, like target combo number ten, the fourth hit is an overhead. Uh, target combos twelve and six are also having to be um, you know low hits on certain points. Um, so she's actually got a very nice mix up. Her projectile game is actually phenomenal because you can actually be able to dash cancel uh, these, the uh, kunai. Now, what's really good about this is, well, one with the fact that they don't combo into each other, so this way you actually have some freedom to uh, actually uh, dash cancel out. Oh, so you can delay the second kunai. Right. You can be able to delay it to about three seconds, and then it automatically comes out. Now, if you just noticed... If you hold it, it actually does just a little bit more damage. Not by yeah, much. Yeah, do that again so I can get a shot of the energy bar. Oh, a little bit more, yeah. Yeah, Four it does, percent. Yeah, Four percent. does one percent more. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. Now, one of the things I will say, if you're going to learn Scarlet, her she has a move that is known as the Blood Ball. I stress this to everybody. And I mean... Everybody. This includes you. You know who I'm talking about. Anyways, the Blood Ball does 7% damage to yourself and does 15% damage to your opponent. It does a very good amount of damage. Now, this right here is where it becomes a real pain in the balls. Or kick in the ass or whatever you want to call it. If you have less than 7% health, you will die. die. You will get sacked and die by your own self. You will commit harikari. <laughs> now, in a way, if you actually are getting kind of pressured and you don't like your opponent, this is a great way to give him an F you. <laughs> so, going, hey, guess what? I'm not going to give you the privilege of dealing the last hit. I'm going to kill myself. Which would be kind of funny, and you know that there's going to be somebody out there who's going to want to do that. Oh, yeah, trust me. I, I find it hilarious. Um, now, along with this, she also has... Uh, very viable options. Her teleport is actually what I can define as one of the fastest in the game. It's very good and it yeah. hits too. Right. And she has very little uh, recovery time, which is actually very beneficial. So, on top of that, you end up having um, you actually can be able to do a great mix-up game, like with one of her target combos is up and A, and then you press B, 
you can immediately go right into the uh, teleport from there. Or if you really want, you can do something like, well, I'll just uh, display that real quick. Or there's the EX, EX teleport, which yeah. is... Seven hits, hits twenty percent. That's pretty good. Yeah. It gives you a pretty solid knockdown to set up for OK or wake up game. Thank you. And with exactly what he said. <laughs> <laughs> um, so with that in mind, you've also got her basic moves, which are her upward slash, downward slash, and what's really annoying about the upward slash is you can juggle with it, and I've seen it done. And I've actually done it several times, and it gets really annoying, but also very funny. So you can actually go into... Jeez! Yeah. And you actually can be able to dash and then go right into the X-Ray. Executions is pretty sharp, though, because of uh, damage scaling. Or if you want, you can just go just go right into it. Now, is that off the upward slash or the downward? That's off the upward. Okay. Uh, you can actually be able to do, with the downward slash... You can also be able to uh, bounce and then go right into it. Ooh, that's that's actually pretty it's nasty. Still in the eye. It's still in the eye. But why does Scarlet's X-ray have to do so little damage? I don't know. 